this brief maneuver. The night the scary beasties popped out of my head. By Daniel and David Kamish. This book is dedicated to our moms. Thank you for all your help and support. We love you, Daniel and David. The Night the Scary Beasties Popped Out of My Head by Daniel and David Kamish. Dan's peaceful sleep was jostled by a growling in his melon. The growling grew to rumbling, and the rumbling grew to snarling, and the snarling grew to roaring. Dan grabbed his mighty pencil and he drew the nightmare beastie. It popped right from his melon onto the pad of paper. If Dan erased the beastie drawing, all the growling, all the rumbling, all the snarling, all the roaring would come screeching to a stop and he could sleep. But before he could erase it, Strange moonbeams lit the page and sparked life into the scary nightmare beastie. Yow! It popped right off the page and flashed its real beastie teeth. Then the beastie started grunting and a coughing <coughs> and a wheezing and he <coughs> sneezed a boogeyman right out of his nose. Dan now stood face to face with the boogie and the beast. He politely said, we could be friends and play with toys, or we could watch the Late Late Show. But nightmares aren't friendly. The beastie ate the television. And the beastie gulped Dan's new red racer down his ugly beastie throat. Eraser first, Dan charged to rub the nightmares out, but they grabbed his mighty pencil 
drew a pencil of their own and they escaped into the starry, starry night. Dan needed help, and fast. So he drew a six-legged dog, two extra legs for speed, to chase his nightmares down. The nightmares still were faster on the motorcycle they had drawn. Dan felt like screaming! But instead of getting mad, he designed a clever plan. The dog gave six thumbs up as Dan drew a fire engine, and off they raced to wash away the nightmares. The beastie drew a fortress and a moat with toothy creatures. Ha! That didn't scare Dan. He knew he had them now. It was time to send his nightmares to the showers. Whoosh! As Dan soaked the nightmares down, the beasties roared one final beastie roar, but the roar shrank to a snarl, and the snarl shrank to a rumble, and the rumble shrank to a growl. The nightmares fizzled out. and puddled at Dan's feet. As Dan erased the night away, the soft hues of morning warmed the sky. With a calm head and a plan, Dan had battled nightmares and Dan had won. He will no longer be afraid of beasties growling in his melon. But he keeps his mighty pencil close just in case. Sweet dreams This is my story about what happened when my nightmare came to life. The night the scary beasties popped out of my head by Daniel and David Kamish. Music by Tommy Hollywood. This is Brooklyn Blowback TV. We get naked with the truth for children of all ages. <laughs>